We have already seriously enjoyed her music on Real Life, and now we get to dig a bit deeper into her music with Andrea Dumas in this week's Real Life Today. Andrea, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Girl, you didn't <laughs> sing, you sang. <laughs> God. Wow, lifting praise. up the name of Jesus. Yes. Have you always been a singer? Well, you know, I did. Um, I grew up singing uh -huh. at home and in the church. My mother played the piano for a church choir, and yeah. so we always had music in the home. Yeah. So my brothers and I, we would sing in the living room with my mother playing the piano. Yeah. So I just always sang, but really I got more serious about what I was doing, mm -hmm. you know, once I went to college and yeah. started singing there. So what happened in college? Did you, is that when you sort of began your walk with God, or was it an early age, or? Yeah. Well, you know, um, I was impacted by gospel music at a young age. I think I was yeah. about nine years old when uh -huh. I heard the song God Is, and it really touched me. So it, I always knew that there was a place in me mm -hmm. that was reserved for God, but, you know, I was too young, just, you know, living life and sports and all that kind of thing. Yeah. But once I got to college um, and... You know, people started sharing more about their personal relationship with God and just mm -hmm. being separated and set apart for Him. And it really started impacting me, mm -hmm. and I really got serious and really submitted to the Lord. So as part of my story, I really accepted Him truly as my personal Savior while I was in college, which, yeah. is, which is an unlikely thing, That's you know, amazing. but the yeah. Lord was really good and just the ministry that took place there and in, in the gospel choir at my college. So wow. it was awesome. In the gospel choir, <laughs> yes. you got closer to Christ. I exactly. love that. <laughs> exactly. Because we didn't just sing music. You know, yeah. we would have times after rehearsal, mm -hmm. people would share their testimonies, oh, prayer requests. Yes. So it did kind of turn into a time of ministry and a yeah. lot of people really met God there. Wow. Um, in the, you know, in the gospel choir and still serving him today, wow. you know, as a result of the ministry that went forth in that choir. Well, that's one thing when you sing, it's not just like you're singing technically well, but you're singing with heart and with passion. Mm -hmm. I mean, even now, you know, I could see you could go right back to that place <laughs> right. any second. I might go with you. I mean, and that's what yeah. a worship, you're a worshiper. Yes. And so you, you put these songs on a... CD. CD. Yes. No, girl. Yes, the CD is entitled Celebrate. I'm really excited. It's my first CD. Yes, um, it was job. released in the latter part of last year, and God yeah. has just been so amazing. I've just been traveling and singing yes. and sharing the gospel and music, and just so really glad just that He allowed me to be able to do this and just kind of the love that I have for him, the love that yes. I have for his music. So I'm really excited about yeah, it. Yeah, it's like taking that love and going public with it in a big yeah. way. Yeah. So I know that this is your first solo album, mm -hmm. but you have been a backup singer. Can you share some of those stories? Yes, yes. Um, I sang a uh, background for uh, Yolanda Adams. Yeah. I was one of her background singers for, you know, about five, six years, something like that. Mm -hmm. Done some background work with Donnie McClurkin, Pastor Donnie McClurkin. Yes. And and also, I sing with Richard Smallwood's Vision. So I'm a part yes. of his ensemble, yes. Total Praise, yes. Jesus, You're the Center of My Joy. So I've been singing with him for the last 11 years, and that has just been phenomenal. So mm. I was able to really learn about music, learn mm -hmm. about music ministry, and just how to minister in mm. song. And just yes. singing with those, you know, three, you know, artists, you know, renowned artists, if you will, I really was able to really learn a lot mm -hmm. about how to do public ministry as a music minister. Yeah. Do you have sort of a message that you have woven through your songs that you want your listeners to get into their heart? Well, you know, celebrate is just about celebrating the goodness of the Lord, yeah. praise and worship, you know, sharing the gospel. Mm -hmm. I just want everyone to know that no matter what you're going through, you can you always praise God, you know, right. that the God will come and inhabit your praises uh -huh. and he will encourage you, he'll unlip, uplift you, inspire you, mm -hmm. you know, help you to go on. And yes. so the songs that are in that project, it's yes. just a way of just sharing the message of Jesus Christ because mm -hmm. that's what gospel, the gospel music is and it right. should be right. the good news of Jesus Christ. And so that's what my desire has been with this project. And I've just seen, you know, God just really do some amazing things through the project already. Wow. Already. So it, it's easy to worship God when things are going great right. and things are all good and hunky-dory, so mm -hmm. to speak. But can you worship God in tough times? 
Oh, should we worship God in tough times? <laughs> Definitely. Um, you know, my my mother passed away, you know, some years ago, and, and I was, you know, saved and living for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And it was a very difficult time for me because I was hurt. Mm -hmm. It was so unexpected, just really yeah. grieving. But I knew that if I just hold on to God, that yes. he was going to get me through. Yes. So even through my pain, I would still praise him. One of my favorite scriptures is, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. That's good times. Amen. That's bad times. Yes. That's through trials and tribulations hurt. Mm -hmm. And his praise shall continually, continually be in my wow. mouth. And so that's kind of how, that was like my, my scripture. And yeah. I would just, when I would get down or when I would get, you know, yeah. feel defeated or mm -hmm. am I going to really make it? Yeah. Then I would hold on to the word of God and, yeah. and just praise him through everything. And, and, you know, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. heaviness. I would just, you Amen. know, think Sister. of the word, you know what yes. I mean? And just really apply it to my life and apply mm -hmm. it to my feelings. And, and God, he brought me through. And, and that's what Celebrate is about is yeah. just really tapping into where people are and just yes. ministering to Amen. them where they are. And mm -hmm. it's just like, you know what? You can make it. You yes. can overcome Amen. if you have God in your life. Amen. Yes, because we have people that are watching that are mm -hmm. going through tough times and they're, right. they might be barely hanging on, so right. to speak. Right. But really, God has them in the palm of mm -hmm. his hand. Yes. Yes. And he is faithful and the Lord is good to all. Yes, he is. He is he slow is. to anger and of great mercy. Yes. He's just a good yes, God. He is. So what is the future of your music? What do you see? For, can people contact you? Can they have you in to sing yes. or sing like you do. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, I have a website, uh -huh. uh, andreadumas.com. Um, of course, I'm on social media at Andre Dumas Music, so they can contact me there. Email address, andreadumasmusic at gmail.com. Yes. You know, just a variety of ways. Just reach out to me, um, and I would love to come and share in music ministry in yeah. any capacity. And it doesn't just have to be a certain type of event. I'll uh -huh. come anywhere and do anything because it's not about me. It's about yeah. uplifting Jesus. Amen. It's about taking his gospel out there. Yes. And so however people, news. yeah, the good yeah. news. And sometimes people tap, you know, they would prefer... Uh, having a singer come, yes. they're not as intimidated, but right. it's like the music and the yes. ministry, God yes. can still minister right. through that. And so, but yeah. That, I'm, that I'm, music and that worship breaks down walls in people's hearts. Music is a universal language it and is. everybody can. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Right? And exactly. worship God. Mm -hmm. We all know that. Thank you so much for Thank coming. I'm excited so about you, and, and we're going to hear from you again yes. on this show, so don't change that <laughs> dial. And thank you for your heart and the passion behind the worship that you, you sing. We God appreciate you. We will be <laughs> right back.